Hello, I'm Atubo George. Now, this is a new week and I bless the Lord for what He's doing in your life. You know, I was telling you on Friday, God loves you and that's why, first of all, He gave you His Word. Now, anytime the Word of God comes to you, it is actually the demonstration of His perfect love towards you. Now, so when he says we should, you know, there, when he says we should embrace the love of God, what are we, what does it say? We, we should embrace his word. See, if you don't have his word, then you don't have his love. And that's the truth. When you love someone, you give the person words. That's what you give the person. Every action of yours will demonstrate the trueness or the, the reality of the word that you give to the person. So when, when a man marries a wife, what he gives to her is actually his words. That's why we take vows in the church. You understand what I'm saying? Or, or maybe Scott wedding, wherever you got wedded, you take vows. What, what are you doing when you make those vows? You are giving the person words. So it will be foolish of you to go join yourself with someone who doesn't keep his words? So before you'd say, oh, I'm joining myself with this person to be this person's wife or to this person's husband, you should have seen that they value their words. Anyone who doesn't value his word doesn't even know who he is. I'm telling you the truth. So, so when, when you know this person, how valuable is their word to them? Is their word their bond? If they tell you, I'm going to do this for you, do they keep it? Or do, do, you wait, do they wait till that time? Say, hey, I thought you said, um, uh, can somebody joke with you? Or um, uh, did I really say that? Did you really hear me say that? <laughs> now you know you're getting yourself into trouble already. Before you believe those words, when you say, I do, make sure this person, has a track record of integrity, has a track record of keeping his words. Now, let me tell you this secret. Even if other things are not functioning in this person's life, you know what I mean? If he doesn't have money that, you, that he's supposed to have, if, if some other things, when you see a consistency in keeping his words or her words, you know this person is going somewhere to happen. Is it not amazing? Say, Really? That's a secret in life. Find out a man who keeps his words. Then I'll show you a man who's going somewhere to happen. Great, to do great things, I'm telling you. Yeah, praise God. So let, let's look at verse 1, chapter 5, verse John. He said, whoever believes that Jesus Christ, that Jesus is the Christ, is born of God. And everyone who loves him, who begot, also loves him who is begotten by him or of him. Anyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ, automatically he says that that's a proof that that person is born of God. And if you love the one who gave birth to him, or if you love Jesus, you will love the one who gave birth to him. Or if you love God, you will love his son. That's what he's saying. By this we know that we love the children of God. Praise God. So when we find, ah, this is, this is, this is lovely. Have you ever found yourself in, in, in a strange place? You know, you traveled somewhere, you're in this new place and you meet somebody. You just know in your spirit, hey, this person is a believer. The, you know, I say, how do you know? The person may not have said anything or you just heard the person conversing with someone. Else. You just knew. You just, I just, I'm looking at this person, I just know he's a believer. And then you go into Jesus and say, hey, how are you? I'm so, so, and so. And then, you know, it's so easy. You start a friendship immediately. Why? Because, he says here, he says, by this we know that we love the children of God. When we love God and keep his commandment. So when you are one who keeps God's word, when you find another believer, you will know. And automatically you just love the person because see that friend, oh she landed okay now thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord Woo, this is beautiful wow 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 you know what the lord just said to me right now wow glory glory 
Thank you, Lord. You, I, I told you, see, I'm, I'm sharing these things with you and I'm also hearing him teach me also. As I was just saying that, he just said, you know why you love yourselves? It's because you are the word of God. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah, so, so, ah, na That's why we don't need to know ourselves very well before we love ourselves. We love ourselves because we are. See, when you keep God's word, now you find another believer who's a true believer. You see, a true believer is a keeper of the word what, what, what does that mean a true believer has the word of god in him so what we love in one another it's not just the flesh we love the word of god it's his word to word hallelujah we we love the word so when when a man has the word of god in him you just meet him you just fall in love with him you say wow i can do anything for this person man praise god why it's the word of god in him him so you know what when you meet a fake believer say you know there are fake brethren say false brethren when you meet a false you know he does all the piousness sanctimoniously and 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 you know walks in a certain way carries his bible under his armpits all the time and then but then you you don't find the word you know you say hey hello how are you you know fine go to church too yeah go to church you know and then but but then you you're looking at him and then you're wondering you know he, he begins to talk and he just talks anyhow because you know like, oh, sorry are you a believer why? Because you don't see the word of God in you. You don't see him as a keeper of the word. Every keeper of God's word naturally becomes discipline in life. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> Thank you. He says, I'll read that verse 2 again. That, that, that's what I read when the Holy Spirit said, what we love in ourselves is the word. He said, by this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandment. So that person I see is, is the commandment of God because that's the word of God. His commandment is also his word. So when we keep his word, when his word is in an individual, because the Bible says, and there's a word, the word was made flesh. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You're going to see it here. You're going to see it here very soon. It says, for this is, verse 3 now, it says, for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. See? <laughs> this is the love of God. Now, remove commandment there and put word. See? Because his word is word commandment is his word so he says for this is the love of god that we keep his commandment and his commandments are not burdensome <laughs> oh glory his word is not burdensome his word you know why it's not burdensome? because he is the one at work in us both to will and to do of his good pleasure so he prepares us for his word to be sown in our heart and when he plants his word in into our heart we receive it with gladness we are excited we love to keep it why it's it's life <laughs> So he says it's not burdensome. Why? For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Hallelujah. See, the world cannot keep his word. You know that, right? The world cannot keep his word because they cannot even receive it. But we receive his word and we keep it. Why do we keep it? Because because ah, ah i read this to you it was the last week or two weeks ago i read this to you he says <laughs> oh thank you jesus jesus said in john chapter 10 and i think verse 30 or so you know verse, verse 30 or 33 he says if he called them gods unto whom the word of god came ah, so anyone that the word of god comes to is called a god see did you get that? Everyone that the word of God comes to. So now, now it's making sense. Now it's just making sense. So God loves God. <laughs> like Abu Shaini. I'm a God. You are a God. We love ourselves because we are God. How do you know we are God? Because the word of God came to us. We receive the word of God. Hallelujah. Kabu Sefrede. He says, 
Hmm, mm, 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 mm. For whatsoever is born of God. How do I know I'm born of God? Because the word of God came to me. Hashalabaya. See, <laughs> Kiva. The word of God came to me. And so I know I'm a God. How am I God? Because I was born of God. Hallelujah. I'm born of the word. See, that's it. The word was made flesh. Peter says, being born again, not of corruptible seed or sperm, but of the incorruptible, which is the word of God that lives and abides forever. The word of God is eternal because the word is God. <laughs> so when he says, I'm born of the word, I'm saying I'm born of God. So now you understand when Jesus said, he called them gods because the word of God came to them. Mm. Listen guys, if you don't receive the word of God, you, you, need to, you need to really, really go and check yourself. And like, who am I? Praise <laughs> God. Yeah. You say you're born again, but the word of God doesn't come to you. Ah, nah. Who are you? Who are you? Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Verse 4 again. For whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. What is the victory? Ah, faith. When the word of God comes to us, we keep it. The keeping of his word is the demonstration of faith. So he says, this is the victory that overcomes the world. Whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Okay, so how does it work? You mean I, just because I'm born of God, I've overcome the world? Yes. So how does it work? He said, this is how it works. This is the particular, I mean, when you go in details now, this is the particular victory that overcomes the world. What is it? Our faith. What is our faith? Our response to keeping his word. Now that becomes the activity of our lives. So the moment, the more that activity is taking place, it shows we are moving. And as we are moving, keeping his word, which is our act of faith, we will overcome the world. So the Lord tells you, fear not. It is his word that he's giving to you. So you hold on to it. The Lord told me I should fear not. Now danger is rising around you. Everyone is running helter-skelter. Hey, why are you still? Because the Lord said I should fear not. Now that thing you are doing, sitting down because the Lord told you to fear not, that is faith in action. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, that is faith in action. Everyone is running. You are sitting down in one spot, not running like everyone. Everyone turns around and is wondering at you. And you say, look, I'm not moving an inch because I know nothing is going to happen in this place. Eventually, time passes. Nothing happens there. Everyone comes back and say, wow, who are you? You are not normal. Yes, I'm not normal. I have overcome the world, praise God, because I'm born of God and the victory that overcame the world already is my act on the word that he has given me, which is called faith. Are you getting what I'm saying? Or is this thing too hard? <laughs> you know, it's not too hard. It's easy. Praise God. Yes, it's easy. She pro nekia. He, you remember, he said his commandments are not burdensome. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who is he? Thank you, Jesus. Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? of God. And our time is up today. <laughs> Praise God. I'm loving, I'm just loving this. Because see, the more I share with you, the more his word is giving to me. And I'm just enjoying it. <laughs> Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. Step out today rejoicing because God has given you the victory. What is his victory? His, his word and your response to it. That's what brings the victory. Bye-bye.